Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. I've built some sample pieces here, different ways of doing platform construction. And we've talked about how I cut the piece of one by to five and a quarter inches so that I can add up with the three quarter inch plywood to be six inches total. Now, of course, there's gonna be some inaccuracies in that the plywood that we generally buy isn't exactly three quarters of an inch. It is usually a 32nd of an inch shy of three quarters of an inch. That means that my total distance here, and depending on the accuracy of how I rip this, there's gonna be some variance, but we wanna hit this grand total to be close to six inches. And if that is close to six inches, then it's going to be most useful for us. So you can see when I add this distance up, I'm pretty darn close to six inches. I'm a little bit shy, like I said, about a 16th of an inch. That's pretty close. It's as close as we need to get for most theater stuff. We could get a little more accurate than that if our ripping was a little bit more accurate. If I instead rip my one by to five and a half inches, now I'm almost six and a quarter inches. And that is not a very useful measurement in terms of stacking our platforms. So I'm going to say, avoid doing this. Avoid cutting your frames to five and a half inches. Make everything consistent. It doesn't matter whether you go five and a half or five and a quarter in your own shop or your own theater, but make everything consistent. If you've got a lot of inconsistencies in the thicknesses of your flats and the thicknesses of your platforms, that's just gonna make more of a headache for anyone who's assembling it. Pick a measurement and stick with it. If you just buy the one by six off the shelf and don't rip it on the table saw, you're going to have some variance because it's gonna be five and a half, it's gonna be five and three eighths, it's gonna be five and seven sixteenths. It's gonna be some variable depending on how it comes out of the sawmill and how it comes from the lumber yard. It's gonna be best if you're ripping your own one by six to the exact measurement that you want and that you have some consistency. We're not going to use this construction. We're going to build off of this, the six inch total. Let's talk about plywood and plywood grades. Plywood is graded on the surface. Each side of the plywood is graded by a letter grade, A, B, C, D, X. And those are the common grade scales, A being the best surface and X being the worst surface. And the CDX plywood, the worst grade plywood that you can get is general purpose stuff. Neither surface matters in terms of a finish because you're going to be covering it with some other material. And the CDX also means there's going to be a lot of knot holes and voids on both sides and it's general purpose construction plywood, but it's not gonna be something that you wanna use for a plywood lid in a platform in set construction. You wanna use B, D grade. The smoothest surface is the B grade and the, and the D is the worst surface or A, C plywood, which is the A is the best surface and the C is the back. You don't need to go up to AA grade plywood, cabinet grade plywood, something that's got a perfect finish on both sides. Although if you do, you will have better built platforms, but they will be more expensive. How do I identify the plywood? Well, usually you can tell one side is better or smoother, and this is the A side, and then I turn it around to the other side, and I've clearly got a C side. I've got some knots here. It's not filled. I've got knot holes there. It's not sanded as smooth. Sometimes it's hard to tell which side is which, but uh, this one's pretty clear that this is AC plywood. This looks like it's probably A on this side and C on this side. Similar grain pattern is probably from the same batch of plywood. 
these knots are not filled or uh, dressed and our surface isn't very smooth. Sometimes you will find if it's a really bad knot hole, there will be a big biscuit shaped piece that's been uh, cut out and replaced and filled. Half inch plywood, A grade, half inch plywood, C grade. We've got visible knot holes and some imperfections. AC half inch grade, AC three quarter inch, AC quarter inch. It, the A and the C are the conditions of the surface. So our common AC plywood that we get from the lumber mill is going to be five layers. And that's the pretty standard common for three quarter inch plywood, five layers wide. This plywood has many more layers than five. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 layers. 13 layers. I, I can't tell what this is because it's been painted, but I'm pretty sure this is some remnant Baltic birch cabinet grade plywood, 13 layer plywood. And this is the higher quality and the Baltic birch would be A side on one side and A or B on the other side. So it's really good quality plywood. We don't normally have it in stock in the shop, but I bought some a couple summers ago for some projects. That's what your higher grade quality plywood is going to look like. There is one other grade plywood that you can get, but you're probably not going to use it in theater, usually a marine grade plywood. What marine grade plywood means is that this surface is finished and clean, and if there were any imperfections, it would have a fill. The A side, if it was AA, if it was that Baltic birch plywood, it would also have these filled. But it doesn't guarantee that there are no voids in the middle layers. But if you get marine grade plywood, it's going to guarantee that every layer of plywood has all those voids filled. And the reason you need those voids filled with marine grade plywood is if you're building a boat, whether it's out of fiberglass with a plywood core or otherwise, you don't want voids in the middle of your plywood where you run the boat or the vessel into a rock, and then that's going to collapse all the layers into that void in the center. So you need all those interior voids to be gone. Usually the plywood I'm able to get from one of the local lumber yards, I'm able to get a seven layer plywood and it's got a little bit less warpage in it. It's a little bit better than the five layer plywood I'm able to get at the local home improvement big box stores. When we're installing our plywood, we always want the A side to be up. So in our platforms here, I want this to be the A side and I want the C side down. All these platforms that I built, I've reused lumber, so they're all going to be painted on one side, but it should be something like that, the A side up. When you use AC plywood or better, that means you can use your platform straight off the deck and the finished smooth surface can be your finished surface. Now, of course, when you're screwing your platform together, there's gonna to be lots of little screw holes. So your finished surface on a screwed in lid of three quarter inch plywood is not going to be a beautiful surface, but it's going to be better than if you used CDX or a lower grade plywood. So when you're putting your plywood lids on your platforms, we can consider the plywood to be our top layer, but more than likely we're going to want to put a painted or other finished surface on top for a number of reasons. One, you can build your platforms in the space and you can build your covering in another space and you can paint it and you can just install it after it's painted. You don't have to paint on the set and have dry time on the set and interrupt construction and rehearsal because you need to paint. Sometimes having a, another layer to add as your final coat helps uh, speed up the process. Of course, adding another layer on top of your plywood platforms is going to double your costs because now you've got another layer of masonite or other material on top, and it's also gonna double your time and labor. It's going to be better in the long run. One of the other reasons we put other materials on top of the plywood is for soundproofing. Mm -hmm.